हेलो फ्रेंड्स कैसे हो आप लोग माई सेल्फ चेतंगर आई एम मास्टर टीचर हेयर एट वेदांतु आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू अवर आर एम ओ फ्लैश बैक सीरीज इन टूडे सेशन वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्थ एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स ऑफ ईयर नाइनटीन नाइनटी फोर राइट वन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम नंबर थ्योरी एंड द अदर वन इज फ्रॉम जोमेट्री बोथ ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन वर ईजी ओके एंड वी विल सी हाउ वी विल प्रोसीड टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन राइट एंड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द सेशन लेट मी जस्ट गिव यू वन इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट करंटली हेयर एट विदांतु वी आर रनिंग प्री आर एम ओ आर एम ओ एंड आई एन एम ओ बैचेज दोज हु हैव नॉट क्लियर प्री आर एम ओ और हैव नॉट अपियर फॉर प्री आर एम ओ येट दे कैन सिंपली विजिट अवर वेबसाइट ओलम्पिया डॉट विदांतु डॉट कॉम हेयर दे विल गेट ईच एंड एवरी इन्फॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग प्री आर एम ओ बैचेज एंड दोज हु हैव ऑलरेडी क्लियर प्री आर एम ओ और आर एम ओ और इवन एन टी एस सी दे शुड सिंपली मेल मी देअर नेम क्लास कॉन्टैक्ट नंबर एड्रेस अलॉन्ग विद द प्रूफ ऑन दिस ई मेल आई डी चेतन डॉट गर्ग एट वेदांतु डॉट कॉम दोज हु हैव क्लियर प्री आर एम ओ और एन टी एस सी वी विल सिंपली एनरोल दैम टू आर एम ओ बैचेज एंड दोज हु हैव क्लियर आर एम ओ वी विल सिंपली एनरोल यू टू आई एन एम ओ बैचेज राइट सो लेट स्टार्ट अवर सेशन लेट सी द क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्थ ऑफ ईयर and those people who have not appear, uh, who have not uh, tried this question i'll seriously encourage you to please uh, pause this video and uh, uh, give a genuine try on this uh, question that is a, that is an easy question but still if you are not able to solve this you can uh, come again and watch the solution to of this video right so the question says that let a be a set of 16 positive integers uh, with the property that the product of any two any two distinct numbers of a Uh, that should not exceed 1994. Okay, um, and that was in fact a question from year 1994. Though this number is a little bit justified. <laughs> Show that uh, there are two numbers a and b in a which are not relatively prime. Okay, so the question is somewhat related to number theory, and maybe some of you can think of pigeonhole hole principle, right? So this is a mix-up question, right? Uh, we will uh, prove this by a uh, contradiction, right? Not exactly by contradiction. Uh, so let's prove this by contradiction. Let's assume sixteen positive integers which are uh, relatively prime of each other, prime to each other, right? Let's list all the smallest sixteen such positive integers, and that will be obviously prime numbers along with one, right? So let's assume one is a number, then two. Then three. Okay, we are listing fifteen, fifteen uh, prime numbers after one, right? Five, seven, nine will not be a prime. Eleven, then thirteen, again seventeen, nineteen, uh, twenty-one will not be a prime. Twenty-three, twenty-five is not a prime. Twenty-seven is not a prime. Twenty-nine, okay, and uh, after that thirty-one, thirty-three is not a prime. Thirty-five is not a prime. Thirty-seven, thirty-nine is not a prime. Forty-one. How many we have already listed? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, then uh, forty-three, fifteen, and the sixteenth one should be uh, forty-seven, right? One is obviously not a prime number, but it is a positive integer, and one along with any other number are uh, considered as relatively prime, co-prime numbers, right? Basically, co-prime numbers are those numbers whose SCF is one. right and uh, if we if we take any other number then uh, that will that will basically that will be the superset of this number right so these are the possible uh, smallest prime numbers 15 prime numbers along with one right let's multiply the largest two numbers let's multiply it by 47 uh, with 43 let's see what we will get uh, i i i guess that that will exceed that will exceed 45 minus 2 into 45 plus 2 right so 45 square is 2025 2025 minus 4 so that is nothing but 2021 that clearly ex that is clearly exceeding 1994 right so by this we can we can definitely say that uh, since it was mentioned in the question that product of any two distinct numbers belonging to this set should not exceed 1994 so this set is not possible Uh, that is, uh, all the uh, numbers will not be relatively prime. Uh, two, uh, at least two num, two of such numbers will be uh, will not be relatively prime, right? Because uh, if you consider any other number that will be uh, that may not be a prime number, but that will be co-prime with uh, every other, then that will exceed the total the last number of this list, obviously, Anna. 
just say let's say uh, you are taking four right then you cannot take two and hence the product uh, the last number will be uh, either it will remain same or it will become higher right right so that and this is it two clearly two zero two one is greater than 1994 so at least two of uh, these numbers should be should not be relatively prime hence proved right let's move to the next question next question was from geometry uh, it says that ac and bd are two chords of a circle with center o such that they intersect at right angles okay inside the circle at the point m suppose further that k and l are the midpoints of the chord ab and cd respectively we need to prove that ok ml is a parallelogram right all right let's draw the figure and uh, let's draw a little construction also right let's assume that this is a this is c right this is b and this is d clearly as you can see ac and bd are perpendicular as it was mentioned in the question right o is the center of the circle let's assume this is point o right suppose k and l are the midpoints of uh, ab and cd okay so this point will be k and uh, this point will be how much okay l okay this is l and uh, they intersect at right angle at the point m okay so these chords has a point of intersection that is m so this point is m right all right so what we need to prove we need to prove that o k m l that will be a parallelogram and we have uh, we have made a construction we have produced lm uh to intersect with ab right and let's assume that this point of intersection is n right so let's see if we are able to prove that ln or you can say ln is parallel to ok then similarly we can uh, prove that km will be parallel to ol and hence it will become a parallelogram right by making the same construction right so uh, all our aim is to prove ln is parallel to ok right and clearly k is the midpoint of ob and we have joined it with center so that that should be perpendicular and in the same sense that is also perpendicular right now if we are able to prove that angle k angle k n m that is this angle if we are able to prove that this angle is 90 degree then uh, we are done then then we have proved that uh, this will be a parallelogram right so all we need to prove is that this angle is 90 degree right okay let's consider uh, okay, let's consider this angle as theta and this angle as alpha if we are able to prove that theta plus alpha is 90 degree then obviously this angle will be 90 degree and we are done so theta plus alpha equals to 90 degree this is what we need to prove right i hope you sabko clear ho raha hoga right now if you if you can see that uh, we can say that angle dml that will be theta vertically opposite angle right i guess you sabko samajh mein aa raha hoga vertically opposite angles angle dml will be theta right and uh, can you tell me what will be angle uh, dcm what will be angle okay what will be angle dcm angle dcm will be equals to angle mba because they are formed by the same chord ad right ad is forming uh, at, at the circumference that is angle acd and angle abd those all will be equal and that should be equal to alpha right i hope this is clear right now if you consider a uh, triangle dmc right let's consider triangle dmc can you say that uh, angle dmc is 90 degree because both the chords intersect at 90 degree it was mentioned in the uh, question right and since angle dmc is 90 degree and l is the midpoint why midpoint because it was again mentioned in the question l are the midpoints of the chord cd right so you can say that ml will be equal to uh, dl 
that will be equal to lc that is in fact radius of the circum circle of uh, triangle dmc right because l will be the center of the circum circle of triangle dmc so dl lm and mc uh, dl lc and lm th those all will be the radius that is circum radius circum radius okay of obviously of triangle d m c right now uh, as d l is equals to m l so this thing this thing will imply what this will simply imply that angle d m l angle d m l that should be equal to angle what angle l d m because d l m will be an isosceles triangle right so since d m l was theta so that should also be theta so ldm will be theta right i hope this is clear and since angle ldm plus angle uh, this dcm that is 90 degree because 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 what because angle dmc was 90 so some of the remaining two angles of the triangle will also be 90 and what is angle ldm ldm is theta so okay theta and what is angle dcm we have formed this that dcm is nothing but alpha so theta plus alpha is 90 so since theta plus alpha is 90 so this angle should be 90 degree and since this is also 90 so we can we can say that ln will be parallel to ok this is what in fact we need to prove right by the same logic we can also prove that uh, mk will be parallel to ol and hence ok ml is a parallelogram right so that was an easy question from uh, geometry right so that's it from today's session today we have discussed question number 5th and question number 6th of year 1994 in the next lecture we will be discussing next two question that is question number 7th and 8th of year 1994 and before ending the session let me uh, again give you one information that i have already shared at the start of the session also that uh, the persons who have already cleared pre rmo rmo or ntsc they should mail me their name class uh, contact number address along with the proof on this email id chetan.garg@vedantu.com we will simply enroll you to rmo and inmo batches right all these courses will be free of cost and you do not need to pay even a single rupee to enroll in these batches right so see you in the next session uh, till then take a very good care of yourself bye bye